Yo, 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 everybody, this is Narcoleptic Cheeto in another episode of Modded Minecraft, and today we are making the best alloy smelter there is because I am sick of waiting for my for my conversion kits, basically. So we're going to make this guy, and uh, tell you what, we're, we're going to tell the machine how to make this guy because we'll probably want to make more of them down the line. So we start from the very beginning, which is... I mean, let's be honest, but that's enhanced machine chassis cauldron. Um, you know what? The, I think our guy already knows how to make an alloy smelter. Uh, no, it doesn't, according to this. So, does it know how to make a furnace? I bet it does. I bet it knows how to make a furnace. Ugh. F U R N. It knows how to make, it doesn't know how to make a furnace. Okay, wow, we got some crafting to do in here. Okay, so uh, I think actually first things first is the blank patterns because we're running low. Let's just do a bunch and we'll hit just start. Okay, so now we need, we got the blank patterns going and we need our alloy smelter. Oh, it's over here. Gah. All right, so we're going to make this one. Uh, we're going to start here. And that's how we make this. How do we make this end steel ingot? Okay, we're going to start top left here. End steel ingot is made not by crafting, but by... Oh, alloy smelting. I should know better. Okay. Well, let's go here. Process. End... Go to the alloy smelter. So, dark steel, obsidian, and instone makes that. Okay. Do we have instone, by the way? Instone. We have some. I don't know if that's from the end or if it's from our resource miner. Let's see. It's from the resource miner. Okay. So now we have that stuff we have this and that that's pretty easy can I make that another way I wonder doesn't look like it what the I don't even want to know don't want to know okay so let us what why is it eh I don't even want to know never mind don't care all right, so we got in stone. We need to go back to this guy. Does our system know how to make dark steel? I don't think it does, but it could be wrong. All right, so let's tell it how to make dark steel. Did you already know how to make dark steel? You have some dark steel. That doesn't say anything. Nope. You didn't know how. Now you do. Okay, so dark steel, and we need, okay, then it knows it needs to know how to make steel, no, that, that alone, does it know how to make pulverized coal, I wonder, pulverized coal, it does not, so we need to tell it how to make pulverized coal, rabbit hole, this is a rabbit hole, and I'm telling the thing how to do it. Uh, we're going to do a decent one. I, I don't really care about that. Okay. So now it knows how to make coal. Let's go back to the beginning. I said let's go back to the beginning. So now I think it knows how to make one of these ingots. It knows how to make dark steel. knows how to make... Pulverized coal, we got iron, we got obsidian. Perfect. Okay. So now we need to go back to the beginning. We know how to make those. We don't know how to make these, which is insane. But, you know. So let's make a furnace. Tell it how to make a furnace. Bam. Knows how to make a furnace. Okay. Let's tell it how to make. Oh, God. A cauldron, maybe? 
Wait, does it already know how to make a cauldron? We have three, but no, it doesn't know how to make one. Alright, cauldron. Now it knows how to make that. Now we're going to look at these vibrant gears. So it's one of these infinity gears. And then we got to tell it how to make an infinity gear. Really? Give me a iron. Jeez, iron ingot. Uh. Okay. Infinity by metal gear. All right, now it knows how to make that. And it knows how to make the thing above it. Yep. Okay. No wonder I didn't make one of these before. It's a pain in the butt. Enhanced machine chassis. Enhanced die blend. This is gonna suck. Okay. Uh, which one? In steel chassis? Sure, we'll do this one. So now it knows... Oh. Give me my blank patterns. Man. Okay. Now it knows how to make one of those. And it knows how to make these. It doesn't know how to make the bars. So we gotta tell it how to make the bars. Pretty sure these are still in steel. So we know how to make in steel bars now. And we're gonna tell it how to make. So it knows how to make that. Dang it. Uh, let me go back one. Let's go to the. I, I, I literally don't even know. Okay. We are not gonna go organic black dye. That's stupid. Let's do the black powder if we can find it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, sorry. Oh, does that not work? No. Would a blackberry work? No. Oh, you. You think. Okay. Wow. I think it's only going to take that one. That one component. What? Organic black dye. Yeah, that's not changing. How do you make organic black dye, I ask. Kind of reluctantly ask, actually. Is it pulverized coal or in slime in the alloy smelter? <laughs> okay, God. I'm going to cry. Okay. So, rabbit hole number 37. Go here. Go here. We could also use eggs, but we're going to use slime. And we're going to use the slime that is made from the rice because we know how to make that. No. We know how to... We... Oh, come on. Jeez. One of those makes two of those. Fantabulous. All right. Great. <laughs> Uh, actually, I think it might be need to stick on that. Okay. So, now we know how to make this. We know we have nether quartz. Grains of something. Oh. No. Two ways to make this. And I gotta know how to make a pulsating crystal. Please, for the love of everything, holy. Pulsating... I don't know how to make a pulsating crystal. Alright, here we go. Ugh. Okay, here we go. Here. We know how to make that. Can I not put one of those in like a pulverizer? That would be so much easier. Now I need a sag mill. Dude, this thing. Oh my gosh. Enhanced sag mill. I don't even. I don't want to. Oh, can I just make a... I want to try this. I want to just see. Just to make sure that I can't put this in a pulverizer. Come on now. Uh, that's... Pulverizers being used. That is a lot of jellied cryothium. Here. Take it. 
Okay. <laughs> I I kind of figured since it was an NJEI, but I really wanted it to work. All right, this crazy stuff, menu factory or a sag mill. I don't even what is a manufactory? Do I do I want to know? Actually, actually, it's not bad. Okay. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run back down. We're gonna use our sleeping bag for the last time. I've actually already used it. While it's dead like this, I'm waiting for it to disappear. It still hasn't disappeared. That's amazing. Okay. So then we're going to do... Uh, should I do a sag mill? <laughs> I feel like a sag mill is probably the way to go, but at the same time... I don't know. <laughs> what is this stuff even called? I don't know. If I knew what it's called, I'd probably just go that way because this is... Getting to be a rabbit hole and a half. That's a crafting terminal. Ugh. Menu factory. Okay, I think my system already knows how to make pistons. We're gonna tell him how to make this solenoid stuff. Fantastic. We have stuff. It's great. Let's let's tell it uh, how to make this menu factory. This is ridiculous. Donkulous. Okay. Manufact that thing and that thing. Uh, let's put it on different ones. Alright. And then go here. Manufactory. Who knows? Maybe I'll want to make more than one of these. Just give me this. <laughs> Manufactory. I've got one. Yay. Oops, down one. Damn, okay. So now we're going to go over here. We're going to go throw our... Oh, we're going to make some interfaces. Actually, I think we have some. Enter. Got this guy. We're going to get these guys. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to throw... Uh, oh, we don't have it yet. Oh. Okay. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. So ridiculous. So redonkulous. Okay, let's go back down this crazy rabbit hole. Alright. Eh. Eh. Okay, let's go to the manufactory over here. Man, you factory? Okay. Alright, let's put that in there. Great. Fantastic. What all can be... Okay. Encoded pattern. Okay. Encoded pattern creates crafts. Okay, so whenever it says crafts. Okay. Let's go here. This one says crafts. Creates crafts. 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 Arts and crafts. Crafts. Jeez. Creates. Uh, can I go down one? Okay, there we go. We craft that. That is a ridiculous machine. We need to craft these guys. Creates. Crafts. Let's go here. Uh, creates. 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 Crafts. Okay. Good. This is totally ridiculous. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, so these guys. This one is made with alloy smelter. Alloy smelter, alloy smelter, and this is a pulverizer. Okay, so these guys. Let's look for alloy smelter. Let's throw all of this in here because reasons. Right? Alloy smelter? Yeah, I think that's right. And then pulverizer down here. Should be right 
there. Oh my gosh. Okay. We are done there. Okay. Let's see if we know how to make some stuff. Yet? Maybe? Kind of? Can we make this thing? Please? Please? Can I make it? No, not yet. Okay. Oi. Okay. No, but really. Just... Did I already do this? Crushed quartz? No, I want to use pulverized quartz. Quartz? I actually need to make some, apparently. One, next. Okay, thank you. Quartz? <laughs> thank you. Okay. Fine a frickin' Lee. That is a crafting recipe. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So we're going to put this down into the molecular assimilator. Assimilator? No. Whatever. Okay. Is that everything? I kind of feel like it's not. So this, this. I don't think I ever told it how to make that. Oh, God. This, this, this. Go. Fantastic alloy smelter away. Uh, nope, not there. Alloy smelter. Okay. Now, let's try to make this thing. Make this thing. Do that thing. Watch yourself. Do that thing. Watch yourself. We can do it. Hit start and I'll wait till next year. Okay. It'll uh, start doing its thing. It's got a lot of stuff to alloy and all that stuff. Alloween? Alloween? I don't know. I don't think I meant to come down this far. Okay. Alloy? <laughs> it's just going to take forever. Okay, let's see where it is in the process. Nope. 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 Yep. That was it. That was it. Where are we in the process? We are crafting dark steel ingots. We are also crafting grains of pisality. Oh man. Okay, let's triple check that this is actually working. Okay. It's working slowly, but it's working. Okay, well, it'll do its thing, and then we'll eventually get it done, and then we'll be fine and dandy. All right, well, that's uh, that's most of the episode. Okay, so I'm going to come back when we have it. I'll be back in just a bit. Okay, guys. All right, guys, so in the meantime, what we're going to do is I installed the extra 50 of these guys, and I've already upgraded the others. So we're going to upgrade these guys and just kind of wait on... Wait on everything to be done, really. Okay, so I can't, like, double-click on it. Kind of annoying. It's also very loud. Okay, I'm not holding down shift. I'm just being careful about it. All right, that was 25 of them. And now these are the other 25. Yay! So, <laughs> the irony here is that I made that big old nuclear thing, and this, this is my main source of power still. Like, this is going to get me, what, like, what I say, like 48,000 RF per tick, this array, and if I built another array like it, uh, yeah, the only thing is, is like, the, the blazes might not be 100%. I have to might I might have to get more efficient. Uh, these can only you can only do one per, so I'm gonna do these first because I can just run down the line like this. All right, 
And then I can go up here and do the same thing. Uh, I'm just gonna run this way. Okay, sweet. Now, uh, we should be able to go through. Wait, I don't think I grabbed all of these. I didn't. I think I must have grabbed the stack. I was like, wait, that doesn't seem right. Okay. Alrighty. This blazing pyrothium is definitely the way to go with the magma crucibles. I should probably look into like other things that could potentially get me more stuff, but yeah. Not gonna do that. That's the bottom row. gonna go down here make sure that we get everything in five more four. okay last one all right perfect all of these are producing 480 per tick now the biggest deal and our biggest bottleneck right now is this guy because it can only accept 5,000 RF per tick uh, so yeah, we're producing 48,000, but this can only handle 5,000. My idea here is that I will probably run this up the wall a little bit. And I think we looked at the advanced one. It could, could, what could do? The advanced, the advanced cell can move 20,000 RF per tick which is far better obviously the problem is oh I was say the problem is we only have one but can I connect a normal power cell so let's take out that link <laughs> as everything dies I, I actually should not do that and then like hook in this right and then hook that in can, will this like hook up to everything else even though it's an advanced and all the others are regulars? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, <laughs> probably a good one to figure out before everything dies. So... I think it worked. So now that thing can accept 20,000 RF per tick. I think. Yeah, that makes sense that it's like at 180 million or something like that. Okay. We're just going to have to trust it. So that works. That works at the end. Eventually, we're going to have more of those, but whatever. So this works. And I'll be honest, like, I probably am not going to have that much more of this. I might pull these guys into the center here more maybe or I might go up the wall I might feed them up the wall like do 200 of these have 96,000 RF per tick that kind of a thing okay so that got us through that let's see how we are on their alloy smelter alloy it's 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 not there yet. What are we doing now? We are crafting the grains of pisality. Pisality? Pisality? I don't know. What was it being done in? The slowest thing on earth, apparently? Uh. Pisality. Oh, it doesn't have any power. No, it does. Oh, it doesn't have any way to get back in. Oh, man. I'm a doofus. I'm a doofus. Okay, let's get <laughs> Shush. Nobody say anything. Item duct. Alright. Let's get the flux ducts, maybe. Flux. Let's get those guys, because it's also going to need... How is this thing getting power? Uh... What? Uh... 
Okay, how is this thing getting power? Not that I'm totally complaining here. That it's getting power, but like, that ain't making sense. I have servos on me, don't I? Yes. Okay. Let's just. That's, and then we will connect it to here. I think they're already in. Yeah. Output slot configuration. Oh, it can output to any side. Oh, that's pretty neat. Okay. Interesting. Oh. How is this getting power? Like... Right? I didn't hook it up to power. Oh. Oh, I did hook it up to... Oh, it just happened to be sitting on top of this thing? Oh, and then it was it's sitting on that cover. That's why I didn't notice it at first. I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, well, you know, I'm not complaining. Happy accident. Alright, so let's... See if our alloy smelter is ready. I don't know why I came down here for it, but I did. Yay, we do. We have it. Let's go up one. Okay. So this is our current alloy smelter. And basically, we're going to rip out those guys and that guy. And we're going to put this right here. And I'm going to need a capacitor, which I accidentally ripped up with that guy. Okay. Give me this. <laughs> and I want to put the capacitor. Where'd it go? There it is. Found it. Holy cow. Okay, so now this has to come out the top. Now that this is what I'm a little bit curious about. Like oh come on. It's not gonna connect. And it's not connecting there either. You gotta be freaking kidding me, Ender IO! What is the deal here? <laughs> what the heck? You make this so it doesn't connect? What in the ever-loving? Why would you even make it this way? It's lovely, but it doesn't export. Uh, hold please. Okay, we're we're pretty much done. Ha. Okay, so if I want to have this, you're basically saying I can't have it here. That's kind of a pain in the rear. All right, because this I need to have be right there. This, I would really like to connect. Can I? Nope, can't connect it that way. Um, why are you half slabbing me, dude? Oh my gosh. This is the dumbest design ever. How in the heck am I supposed to connect with this thing? Um, huh. Hey, if I move that, I could potentially put it on top of that right there and then have it go out the side. And then just have this as an open space. Okay, hold on. Just, just give me a minute. Okay. So I have to take this out and I have to take these out. And what I got to do is I've got to place this interface down right there and throw all these guys in it. Okay. And then I got to uh, this thing is just like okay 
put that there. Then I can maybe get rid of this side and put a servo on this side. And I'm already realizing something else I can't do, which is get it power. Okay, so that that's all set up. Guess I can drag some power up this way. God, it's such a weird thing. Why would you do it this way, Indorio? Why? Why you gotta be like that? Oh, it's so annoying. Okay, let me get another servo and just put that there. Okay. That is very annoying, but I think that will work. Should work, maybe. We'll see. All right, so we've got our new fancy alloy smelter all ready to go. Uh, I hope it's a lot faster because it is in the jankiest place ever up here. Um, but I guess it is what it is. We're we're not gonna be able to move move it much of anywhere. I guess we could move it technically over that way uh, if we want it to be less janky, but still, it's not going to go anywhere very easily because of the way Ender.io decided to have this extra half slab thing on top. Anyway, if you guys liked the episode, please leave a like on it. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.